Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another lapidary video. I'm so excited for this one because we're gonna be polishing two agates in this video. They're both right here. They're dapped, they're ready to go. Let me show you what we're gonna be working in this video. So the first agate we're gonna be polishing is this Thunder Egg Agate that I found up on the North Shore of Lake Superior on the Minnesota side. It's got some really pretty details hidden in there. We're gonna make them shine and pop and it's gonna be really fun. Really, really excited about this one. And then the second one, we're gonna be polishing this guy right here. We're gonna be taking a lot of material down on this side because it's got that nasty fracture in there, but the bands on it are absolutely beautiful. So let's fire up our Caber 6 cabbing machine. We'll get started. So with this beautiful Lake Superior agate, we were able to get that weird fracture out of there. I can't exactly remember which side. I think it was over here. It's gone. So I'm excited to work on getting all these nasty flat spots out of there. And then for this Thunder Egg agate, I'm really excited. It's got a huge flat spot right here. But I'm going to work it pretty hard on the 280 grit soft back disc. We're going to do that right now. Get the water going. Eventually, there it is. So we got both of these beauties through the 280 grit wheel and we're going to move on to the 600, 1200, and 3000. Really excited to see how these are going to fare. I mean, I know this one's going to turn out. Look at how beautiful those bands are looking so far. This one I'm a little nervous. I know this pocket that runs right through here, I know that's going to be good, but I just, I'm curious how this host rock is going to turn out. So we'll get going on the 600 grit wheel. We'll meet back up with you at the 3000 grit, right there. So we've run through the 600 and the 1200 and we now have the 3000 grit and the final stage which is the cerium oxide disc. Our beautiful agates are looking beautiful and I just want to say if you guys stick around for the end I'm going to be throwing my macro lens on so we can take a closer look at these especially this guy right here. It's looking magnificent. I'm going to get the water going on the 3000. I'm going to turn the Caber 6 back on and I just want to say too, if you guys like my cabbing machine, I am going to put my affiliate link with Kingsley North in the description box below so you can go check it out. I really love this unit. It's a lot of fun and uh, I've been working on these for I'd probably say 20 minutes total and we probably got about 5-10 minutes left so we'll get going on this one, wrap it up.
All right, so we got them um, through the last two stages here. I'm just doing some cleaning up here since the last stage is a bit of a sprayer. So it gets everything real wet. Um, but yeah, let me get all this cleaned up here and then we'll take a peek at these beautiful polished gems. Look good, feel good, you know what I mean? Let's take a closer look at our polished beauties. Here is that Thunder Egg Agate, all polished up. Looks pretty cool. It is very, very unique. And I'm gonna throw my macro lens on, like I said. We'll take a closer look at those beautiful details in there. So yeah, I'd say that Thunder Egg, like Superior Egg, it is pretty cool. Love that. And then this guy right here, as expected, is an absolute beauty. <laughs> Let's take a macro look at this one as well. Those are our two Lake Superior agates, both found in Minnesota, both beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do me a favor, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know which one of these is your favorite. <laughs> Might be hard to choose because they're so different, but let me know, I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching, bye.